it's a beautiful day out here in Las Vegas. Wanted to do another fun walk through with you guys. This is an active listing of one of my brokers at my uh, brokerage. It's over here in Enterprise in the area of Las Vegas and it's a gorgeous property. It's a brand new listing so I figure let's do a video tour of it and show you what's inside. So this front courtyard area is really nice. They actually just did a lot of new landscape. It's still considered desert landscape if you're not familiar with what our landscaping is out here. It's just a bunch of rock but we do have a lot of green plants that will grow, a lot of cactus um, and a lot of different other kind of flowers too that you wouldn't think we could grow in such hot heat but they do and it's wonderful. <laughs> so I'm going to show you a little bit of the community, the neighborhood. It's really nice extremely quiet. There is an HOA in this community, but it is only $24 a month. It's not gated, but they definitely do a really great job of keeping it up. This is a community that does allow the on-street parking, but as you can see, there's really not too much around here. And then you do have, uh, this property is at the end of the cul-de-sac, so it's not a through street down there. All right, well, let's go inside. First off, I just love all of this rock that they put on the outside. The property next door actually doesn't have that. So you do have a bit of personalization in some of the properties here in the neighborhood where most it looks like across the street as well don't have it. So that is something a little bit more special about this one. Plus the archway. <laughs> I absolutely love it. And I'm going to show you this uh, light, this light. I'd say it looks like a lantern is what I wanted to call it. But it's super cute right underneath this archway. It's all done with rock. And again, this is the only property on the block that has it. Now this is a four bedroom property, uh, three bath. It's right under 2,500 square feet. And as you can tell, right when you walk in the front door, you're just greeted with a large grand opening room. Whether you used it as your family room, sectioning some of it off for your dining room, it's a huge room with lots of possibility and then a really smooth connection to the kitchen. Now it looks like the countertops are a tile they're not granite, but it's really pretty dark brown. I mean, it looks it looks black almost in some uh, areas, but it uh, looks like just like that on the video. If you were in person with me, it actually is just brown. All the appliances do uh, stay other than the refrigerator with this property. As you can see, there is a really nice space. So you do have a large area for a big sized fridge. Plus another archway where your stove area is, which I really love. Um, most of the properties out here do not have the correct ventilation built in for when you're cooking and it does up here and then for me as someone who really likes to cook plus just really hates all of the grease and ugh, everything that goes all over the cabinetry above if it's not properly done like this those are just i mean it's irreplaceable i absolutely love when a home has that now you have tons of storage as you can tell there's cabinetry everywhere in here all the way around and you do have a really big uh, overhang a waterfall <clears throat> to your island so you could have gosh you could honestly put quite a bit under here or you could hide some bar stools as well but it allows you to put them over here too so it's really kind of whatever you came up with or what you thought worked you could put chairs but our stools would probably work well. So now that we've gone through the kitchen, let's just follow the flow and we'll go into the laundry room area. This is where your washer and dryer would be. You do have a really nice size pantry right here off the kitchen. 
because it doesn't look like you have a pantry in there at all, but in here, you've got quite a bit of storage. And then it does look like you have a, it's like a closet. They have the extra paint in there, which if you guys could smell the property, it has been freshly painted and cleaned. So this is really nice, especially when you're coming right off of the garage. You could treat it almost as a mudroom in its own. So it's, it is a two car garage. The floor has been epoxied, which is really nice. Just a special little treat to the garage, to the man space. You do have storage that is staying with the property above too, which if you're somebody who's had storage like that, you know how golden it is to have it off of the floor and to really be able to use the garage for what it's for. Now there is a 32,000 uh, gallon water softener and it does look like it has the water uh, tankless water heater too, which again is really convenient. You don't realize how much room water heaters take, especially when most cases they're always put in our garages out here. So it's really nice to have that, especially when if you have two cars, you're likely gonna wanna fit all two in here, right? Sorry about that little weird flip. <laughs> Still getting used to my gimbal. <laughs> well, now that we've gone through the garage, let's come back through the property and we'll go outside and then we'll head upstairs because I think this backyard area is just really serene, which if you're from the Las Vegas area, you know having a pool is just almost a must. <laughs> now this pool is not heated, so it does have its cleaning system, but it doesn't have a heater, which does kind of help in terms of maintenance, having a heating system and as well as you can see, there is no spa or jacuzzi for this prop or this pool. So that as well helps with the maintenance, just keeps it down, keeps it to a minimum, especially when it has the cleaner going in it at all times. It's a nice size yard. You do have all of this area over to the right where it looks like it has a pomegranate tree and there's actual pomegranates growing on it too, which is so cool. Yeah, look at that. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. So it looks like you could have fresh pomegranates too. <laughs> uh, and then you do have a large palm tree and your side gate. So you've got quite a bit of room for furniture. And it does have this sun patio shade above, which man keeps you out of the sun right now, which is really nice. I mean, I just checked the degrees. It was 80 when I came out. So it's a perfect day out here, but for our summer heat, having this patio cover is, is a must. It's a really nice size yard. And it has the cool deck, as you can see, for your feet <laughs> when it's those super hot days. Because I guarantee this brick would probably get pretty hot, but most of it will be covered underneath um, in shade when the sun comes over. But this pool area, it's pretty much in the sun all day long. So they definitely did the cool deck. So let's head inside. Oh, looks like they have a custom doggy door too. Actually cut out nicely too. You never know what you see with those sometimes. All right, just give you another look at the kitchen as we walk on over. Now behind this door, the front door is actually a bathroom Nice size too. Not that you really need to see all of it, but. And then let's go ahead and head upstairs. Now, like I said, it is a four bedroom, three bath property. And it does consider this the little loft area. If you're a plant lover like myself, I would have this all set out with plants. <laughs> Tell me in the comments uh, what you would use that space for. Maybe you have cats, they'd love it. All right, let's go to the three bedrooms and then we'll go through the master. 
So this is going to be the first bedroom. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit of an awkward shape. As you can see, you have all this room, but kind of a weird little cubby. So this probably would really be a great office, maybe even a gym, something I'm not sure for a bed, but you could also maybe just fit a perfect twin size bed in there. So ideas, right? Now it does have a really nice size walk-in closet. All of the bedrooms have a really nice size walk-in closet, plus the extra storage up on top. It's a great size. Now, right to your right, you have the second bedroom. Double, the, it's basically the same size, but the space is used a lot better. As you can tell, you could pretty much put a bed anywhere in here and not really worry about where it's at or it's positioned. Uh, and the other, just having that little side off is a little different. But you have a really nice, again, walk-in closet with the storage above. And every room does come as well with a really nice ceiling fan, which out here, man, circulating the air in the summertime, especially with a two-story home, is just really, really nice. All right, and let's go into this spare bathroom. It does share it with the two bedrooms we just walked through. It is a smidge different. Uh, you have your shower um, and tub area to the right. And it is tile in the bathroom. They kept carpet in both bedrooms and down the hallway. But as you can see here, they did do the split and it's tile in here. But you will have this Jack and Jill sink. And then you'll have your segmented bathroom. It looks like it's just off to its own. Which let me know in the comments what you think about this build out. This is definitely an older style to how bathrooms used to be designed, keeping everything kind of separate in that way. Let me know what you think in the comments. So let's walk to the third bedroom and I'll just show you this little side off closet. It's a really nice size and you got lots of shelving, basically from top to bottom. Carpet as well and then we'll head into the third bedroom. Now, this one's a little different. It doesn't actually have a door, <laughs> so I'm walking back out. You could put a door, uh, but it doesn't have one. So it's a, a bit different. Again, this could probably be used for an office, a gym, mother-in-law suite, or a baby's room that you want easy access to, especially the fact that it's just right off of the master bedroom. Now, this one has a really great size walk-in closet too not set up exactly the same but you still have the shelving on either side and a really good size <laughs> from top to bottom of being able to store stuff in here so these are all really really great size closets now when you're coming out of this room as i said you're going right to the master which would be a great room probably segmented off um, for it, uh, especially like I said, for a kid, a kid's room, an infant's room, being able to have it that close. Now we're in the master bedroom. I'm pretty sure I actually just walked past the fourth bedroom. So let's back up just a smidge and we're actually gonna make a quick left. So this one's a closet I can already tell immediately is different. Now it is the mirrored doors which still give a lot of space inside, but it's not the same feel as a walk-in, right? So you probably wouldn't use this one as much or for as much. Maybe not the things you need on a regular basis, but it's a great size room, carpet again, and it also has a really nice ceiling fan in it. With no dust, which if you watched my last tour video of the condo, there was so much dust on the fan, I uh, I really didn't want to turn it on and <laughs> show you guys it was working. <laughs> uh, but these ones have definitely been cleaned. So this master bedroom is a really, really nice size. 
the layout of it is fair too. It's not odd like the first bedroom we walked through. It's pretty much just your typical square or rectangle. Now you do have a bit of a view of your backyard as well as the neighbors. So I do, I, I, I'd have to look and see if these windows are reflective or protected on the other side. Some properties do that out here where you can see out, but you can't see in. So that would be something good to know. Now again, they did the switch. There is carpet here in the bedroom, but they switched it to tile in the bath. You've got your Jack and Jill sinks. And then you have a really nice size shower area. And a sit down which for us ladies, this is so nice. <laughs> I would love to have something like that. My, my parents did when I was growing up, it's really nice. To, it's a nice addition, you don't see it too much anymore. And then this is just your side off bathroom. Pretty standard, nothing fancy. But just wait until you check out this closet. So I said the other closets were really great, right, for the bedrooms. But this closet is massive. I mean, it is huge. There is storage all the way up top. I mean, and I'm not even in the corner of the closet yet. <laughs> it's huge. It's it is such a nice closet. I don't think, honestly, I'd fill a fraction of it, but let me know in the comments if you would. <laughs> Are you one of those people who would totally fill this up? All right, well, we walked through pretty much this whole property. I want to go back downstairs with you and just talk a little bit about the facts. I left my sheet down there, but this home like I said uh, in the very beginning is actively listed it just got listed this week so if you are interested in touring please feel free to reach out to me and I will let the broker know but otherwise it's really awesome to have you on the video with me please like this video comment subscribe to my channel let me know what you think of the tour so far that we've gone through together I'd love to hear from you Okay, so I've got my sheet. This property, I wanted to make sure I told you when it was built. So it was built in 2012. It is in the Enterprise area of Las Vegas. So if you're familiar with the areas here, then you know where it's at. If you're not, uh, Enterprise is right off the 15. It's similar to, well, it's honestly where Southern Highlands is, but it was built before Southern Highlands. So depending on if you're familiar with the area or not. Uh, this is a newer area to town, um, definitely close to everything that you'd want to be close to in regards to the strip or the airport. Um, you have access to all freeways, but yet, like I showed you in the neighborhood, it's super quiet um, and you don't have a lot going on. Um, the, I wanted to make sure I told you as well that it was 2,461 square feet. I don't think I brought that up. I think right before in the beginning I mentioned it was under 25. So just wanted to make sure I mentioned those couple things. And yeah, thanks so much for joining me on this tour. Again, like this video, make sure you subscribe and yeah, hit that little bell notification. That way you're notified anytime I go on any other tours. All right, I'll catch you on another one. Your Nevada home girl here. If you need anything real estate uh, here in Las Vegas or Henderson, I'm happy to help.